Hey, how's everybody doing? Uh, we're down here at Zuccotti Park in downtown New York, downtown Manhattan, down in the Financial District. Uh, we were part of Occupy Wall Street the last few days, or, and we're down here for a General Assembly, which starts at at 6 p.m. And uh, it's been a wonderful time here in New York. I've enjoyed myself. Uh, they took the fence down around uh, Zuccotti that they had up for a couple of days. So uh, and there's minimal police presence. So uh, maybe the New York Police Department is going to leave us alone today. Um, as you can see further in the distance, uh, there's a few occupiers that are still here. Uh, there's not a permanent presence here anymore, but people do come down here every day and, uh, and hang out and occupy. So that's what we're here to do. And I'm with my good friend Tiffany. Say hi to the folks out there, Tiffany. Hello. All right, beautiful Tiffany. She's here today, and uh, she's an occupier as well. So, and we're uh, loving New York. People here have been really receptive to our message of economic uh, uh, equality. And they've, uh, once they hear that we're out with Occupy, almost without exception, they support us in our activities. So, uh, uh, take heart, occupiers. Most of America is on your side. Now, all we got to do is convince the 1%. So, anything you want to say out there? We can go on a political rant, there's really uh, nobody the, watching right On the now. note of convincing the 1%, I think uh, we have to remind them, and uh, also the 99%, any, you know, that we are all one, and uh, in order to evolve and to move forward with this movement, we become 100%, and uh, we have to let go of the hatred for the 1%, and the 1% needs to let go of the hatred for us, and then uh, maybe we can make some uh, progress, yeah? <laughs> I agree. All right. We can do it. Yes, we can. And... Uh, so yeah, if you want to uh, talk to me, uh, you can. Uh, you have to be logged on with Twitter, Facebook, or UStream. Click the social stream tab to the right, and you can log on and chat with me. And if you have any questions, or if you want to know what's happening here in New York, or uh, you just want to give a shout out, or if you want to let me know how my video and audio is doing, uh, please do not hesitate to do so. I would really appreciate it, and I send you a lot of love, and a lot of love out here from Manhattan, from from your boy from San Francisco. Free Man Sullivan. So if you want to uh, contact me at any time, uh, also outside of this live stream, my email is freemansullivan at gmail.com, or you can just Google Freeman Sullivan, and uh, all my web uh, development stuff and all that other stuff will come up for you. Uh, and feel free to browse. I have thousands and thousands worth of pages of information that's up on the web, and uh, it's up there for your edification. And I'm just going to sit around. I'm not going to do much, a lot of commentary. I'm just going to provide you with the look of what it is like to be down here at Zuccotti. And uh, the symbolic home of Occupy uh, National Movement, which has succeeded in transforming the debate, the political debate in this country, away from budget cuts and austerity towards actually probing the real reasons why the bank collapse has happened and why people are having such a hard time financially these days. So hang out and relax, uh, and we'll give you the sights and sounds of wonderful New York City. Does your camera have a? Uh, uh, does your phone have a camera? Yeah. Take a picture of me. Sides. Yeah, take me take a picture of me while you know I put this as background. It's been acting up. I'm gonna have to return this. Phone. Yeah. I would. It, it erases my pictures. Oh, uh, on your chip? I feel like somebody, I think somebody's bugged my phone or something. Nah. Uh, nah, it's, it's a piece of crap. Well, instead of just not taking any more pictures when the memory is full, I think it, it just takes more and then it erases the ones that I've already taken. What the fuck is that? Who programs a phone like that? Yeah, true. Alright. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do it from... So I got... I want to with my, uh, you know, with Zuccotti. Oh, okay. Right. Behind you. Yeah, yeah, there you go. All right. Let's get the whole part here. With the ever present cigarette. All right. And one, two, and three. All right. All right, cool. Make sure it keeps it. Yeah, send it, uh, send it to you now. Yeah, yeah, just send it. it out to your social network. Send it to me. Are you on my Facebook yet? I don't think so. Okay, well, you have to go to my Facebook too. And because I leave room, I have like 5,000. But I leave a couple of spaces available, you know. And I, I tend to tend to people that are not actively participating on my page, I delete. Let me, let me get uh, one more. Got, yeah, uh, take your time. Yeah, let me get it. this one's a little. Let me get this. All right. 
me sit up straight. Alright. So I don't look like a blob. Okay. And show my t-shirt off. Uh, I probably will. That's fine. All right. I'm not like I'm not vain about my personal appearance. There's a. Don't I'll worry tell about you it. Later. Okay. Um, That's so beautiful out here. Oh, this is awesome. This weather. Couldn't ask for better weather. I know. Even in the midst of all this concrete, you could feel it the other day. I like how oppressive it was. Like, cause it gets hot. And it's like the air doesn't move, and right. you know. Yeah, the earth needs to be able to breathe. Yeah, I actually went barefoot all day yesterday too. Really? Something I never do in San Francisco. Either. Not even in my own room. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm like. There's I got this thing about doing drugs. Oh no, it's not that. Yeah, ground. that, but that, not only that, but I have this thing about cleanliness about my body, right? Like my fingernails are always clean and it's just, I don't know. It's like stuff they teach you when you go to college, believe it or not. Right? <laughs> when you, you know. go to college. Yeah, seriously, when you're working in the lab, then. when you're working in the lab, you have to, uh, oh, you have to keep your body, it has to be completely clean. Right. All, all that kind of stuff, right? And then I really learned how to do it when I had a girlfriend that was allergic to me. She was allergic to my sebum. Everything. Yeah. And whenever I, like, if I didn't shave, like, I had to be completely clean shaven if I wanted to kiss her and, and snack on her bush. And, uh, that's so, crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we broke up eventually. It was because of that. Well, yeah. How do you live but, like yeah. that? Well, she moved to Miami. And she likes to clear because it rains all the time. Okay. Well, she's a real sweetheart. But I haven't been able to, I haven't, I haven't been able to, like, contact her in, like, five years. Right, and I actually had detectives look for her, and she disappeared, and which is unusual because she was, uh, she's a programmer, right? And there should be some trace of her on the internet somewhere, right. and we haven't been able to find anything. And I, my friend, who's an expert at finding missing people, I couldn't find her either. And I'm beginning more and more to suspect there was some kind of foul play involved, and she's disappeared, and she was probably murdered or, yeah, because she's very outgoing. And she's in good shape, but she's a woman, you know. Not that she can't defend herself, but, you know, if some dude pulls a gun on you, what are you going to do? Yeah. And that goes for guys, too, right? right? You know. It's very rare that you know what to do when somebody pulls a gun yeah, on you. Well, if they get really close, the best thing you can do is just stick your finger in their barrel right? of the gun. <laughs> yeah. Man. And you'll both get killed. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But... I've been watching. I've been watching too many movies. <laughs> well, I saw. I was talking to a marine, a former marine, and he, he ended up being a witness to a robbery. And the guy put his gun out and said, "Give me all your money." And he just grabbed the gun and <laughs> took it. Right out of his hand. I was like, "Man, I would love to have that confidence. Just be like, give me that." Because <laughs> the guy never thought someone would have the guts to do that. Oh, well, we have some viewers now, right? <laughs> We're down here at Zuccotti Park for the people that just joined us. Uh, we're getting ready to participate with GA. There'll be a GA down at the other end of Zuccotti Park. So if you're watching, I'm down here with my wonderful friend Tiffany, who's uh, escorting me around the busy streets of Manhattan. And so far, so good. We've been having a really great time here in New York. People have been absolutely lovely and, and compassionate and helpful. Not at all like you would expect from New York. So shout out to my San Francisco weather snobs. Uh, it's 70 degrees out here. Absolutely lovely. Couldn't get any more beautiful anywhere, any place on the planet. So there you go. Don't I know how to pick the weather out here? I know when to come and whatever. Anyway, there's Brookfield. These are the people that actually own this park. And this is their office building across the street. So it's pretty huge. It's at least 50 or 60 stories. And then there's more construction over here. That's a new building going up. So uh, we're surrounded by skyscrapers on all sides here. So, uh, that's another thing to, to think about. But there's lots of occupiers down here. Uh, they're just not as visible. There's no tents. But we're down here nonetheless. 
and we're down here for you. And so if you have any questions or anything, be sure to log on to the social stream and chat with me, and I'll be glad to answer your questions. I'm going to uh, roll around here in a bit. i got a cup of coffee I'm working on, and as soon as I'm finishing with my cup of coffee, I'm going to go around and do some interviews with other occupiers, and uh, we'll talk about why we're down here and what this is all about and why we're out here protesting, and we'll talk about how the Wall Street banks are ripping off you, the uh, consumer, and you, the taxpayer, uh, without uh, any compunction. And we'll get into some of the issues about what's going on here, as you probably already know, but it's always good to refresh your memory. So uh, back to the sights and sounds of New York for a few minutes, and I'll finish my copy. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Yeah. There's some people, looks like they're a little converging down at the other, the other end of the park. Some kind of converges. You never know in Manhattan, you know, it could be people just, you know. I've, I've organized the demonstrations here, and we would start out with just like five people, especially the marijuana ones. And by within 15 minutes, we'd have like 200, 300 people. Like, oh wow, you know, as soon as you put up a marijuana flag, right, everybody wants to know what you're up to, right? <laughs> Can I get some pot, you know? <laughs> Uh, not in New York. If you were in San Francisco and you had a patient's card, I'd be, I know plenty of people that would be happy to give you marijuana. Yeah. That's what I miss about California and Colorado, man. They don't know how good it is. They don't know how good it is. Medical marijuana is one of the gifts to, uh, yeah, it's a cure for cancer, cure for uh, rheumatoid arthritis. It's a cure for multiple, not a cure for multiple sclerosis, but it is a good medication to use for when you're having muscle spasms. Um, and in New York City, they don't have that, but they do have it just across the uh, river in uh, New Jersey. Do they? Yes, they do. New Jersey has medical cannabis, and you can get a state licensed card there, but you can't buy pot anywhere because there's no place licensed to sell pot. So you gotta grow it yourself. So you either grow it yourself or find it on underground, you know, in the underground. So, but we're here, and you know we have plenty of medication. We just can't do it out in public. <laughs> so if you're wondering, if you're wondering, I've been staying personally, staying in Brooklyn in Kensington in a nice neighborhood uh, which has uh, disabled access for elevators on the subway which is very handy and uh, I've been staying with uh, some bunch of young people and I've had a really really great time hanging out with them and uh, my friend Ahmed uh, who you guys probably know uh, hey thank you uh, he uh, he's back on the train the uh, back on the Chinatown bus back to Chinatown so a big shout out to Ahmed uh, Salah Salah is how you pronounce it and a uh, big shout out to Ahmed. I hope you made it home safely. And uh, when I get down to uh, Washington, D.C., I want to make sure we get together so I can uh, interview you. I was so busy sending you to other people to be interviewed that I didn't have a chance to interview you myself. So. Ahmed has uh, much to teach. Yes, he's very much so. What is your live stream URL again? Okay, uh, if you're looking for my URL, live stream is U-S-T-R-E dot A-M slash capital N, little h, little u, capital D. Slash, forward slash. Yeah, forward slash. U-S-T-R-E dot A-M? Yeah. Slash. Capital N, little h, little u, capital D. Bean or bean? Uh, bean as in dog. Dog. That's what I did last time. And that should, uh, that's the short URL. That's as short as it gets. Just make sure this works. Okay. Let my fans know to watch you. Yeah, if you have any questions or anything, log on to the social stream, and uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions, any concerns. If you would like for me to roll around to the other side of the park, I'd be more than happy to do that too, as well. Uh, getting around the streets in New York has been kind of daunting for me. Uh, being a disabled person, uh, we were cruising down Broadway and there's actually no curb cuts in the sidewalk in many locations. Uh, the sidewalk is all torn up and it makes it very difficult for disabled people to maneuver through the streets of Manhattan. Uh, it's not so bad over in Brooklyn, but uh, over in Manhattan where it is kind of rough. And this is a much older city than San Francisco, uh, so, uh, but there's really no excuse for not providing disabled facilities. On the subway, I can, I can, I've learned how to deal with it uh, because there's not a whole lot of subway stations here that have elevators, but they're so old. Their subway system 
here in New York was built in the late 1800s, so and uh, it was not it was not feasible for them to build elevators at the time. But you know we're living in the 21st century, and uh, another thing complaint I have about New York subways, not they're very few actually, uh, is that they don't have cell phone antennas in the uh, tunnel. How you doing, man? What's up, bro? Hey, not too bad. I heard they're having a GA here today. At least they said so on the website. I guess it's seven they are. I don't know. I mean, General Assembly, government agency, whatever you want to fucking call it, it's just a bunch of yuppie fucking college kids trying to fucking represent our movement when they have no fucking clue what it's about. They never spent one night in the streets with us in solidarity. It's really a fucking embarrassment. And uh, out of the $700,000 that Occupy Wall Street's gotten, 200,000 of them went to this woman named Janet so that she could buy a house in Arizona. She lives in it now, and she's no longer part of the movement. What? She owns it. Yeah. They what? spend it on themselves. Don't give a penny to the General Assembly. You want to help out Occupy? Help out the people that are doing it 24-7, that are suffering and struggling in the streets for the cause. I agree. Okay, it's like me. I'm not really homeless. I'm kind of like a Robin Hood dude. I don't have to be homeless. I can go back home to my one person background anytime I want. My stepdad is a lawyer. My mom's in real estate. My cousin Carol Kimry is the executive director of the Hot Springs Documentary Film Institute. My uncle Doug Hart was the youngest head of state police in U.S. history on some large crime security firm in Arkansas. And I was the executive director of the Tim Grizzly, the Gothic Gateway, and the Electric News simultaneously on top of being the editor-in-chief of Arkansas News and an international arm broker. I'd rather be here in these streets. Great. What's your name, sir? Revolution. Revolution? Okay, my name's Clark. Thank I'm you for being here. Right. Oh, IWW, fuck yeah. I'm the Black Cat of Mayday, dude. I was in the May 5th issue of New York Times, Paul Krugman. He didn't talk about me individually, but it was my photo. It was me with my fist raised the other All right. They enraged, and it was like my face became the symbol of that. Were you, here for, um, were you here for Monday? Uh, yeah, I was. Okay. I got arrested Monday. Oh, you did? Um, yeah, I had my mask on. I was blocking traffic, and they were shoving me, telling me to get back in summer. I'm like, I ain't going anywhere, you fucking pig. And oh, they, they arrested you. They, yeah, they, they put me in arrest, and I was telling people what, what I'm really being arrested for, what's really going on in this country. And then from there, when they stood me up, I started yelling, Alex Jones, Infowars.com, Alex Jones, Infowars.com. Right. And then from there, I, I had a male cop here, a female cop here. And I started chanting, uh, no justice, no peace, fuck the police. And everybody started following me to chant, and I let them march in handcuffs. And it turns out the cops that were arresting me, they're actually down for the cops too. We got okay. all kinds of cops on the inside. And I know, that's I, and what I was got, thinking too. And, yeah, and each cop had to attend the person they arrested. And when I got out, they, uh, the officer, which will rename remain anonymous, I don't want to get him in trouble, but he got me a chicken parmesan sandwich. Oh, that's nice. Expensive, so, $10 hoagie. Yeah. How long did it keep you in custody? Well, uh, it was from 9 a.m. until 6 p.m. Okay. They, so they were arresting so many people that they didn't have room for all of us, so they were kicking people out. And, uh, you know, but it was awesome. We occupy the jails. Like, they, they were giving us really crampy food. Like, it was like uh, sandwich, cheese sandwiches that were several days old. Mm -hmm. And they were eating hot pizza in front of us, like, you know, one percenters. You know, and they were there and I got everyone a chant, I, I need, I need a piece of pizza. I, I need I need a piece of That's pizza. That's good, I like that. And, and and then we were banging on drums and, and we turned the trash can out so down for the first time I joined a drum circle and I was hitting my fist and slapping it like this. And we were all banging on them and so how many people were in jail with you? Uh, about a hundred and something. We were beyond capacity. It totally violated the, the fire marshal and health and safety inspector code. But, you know, they're lawless. The law don't apply to the law, apparently. But, but no, what the best part was is we were also banging on the water bottles. Then they take their water jug away. And then we start bringing up the constitutionality of that, how they have a legal obligation to provide us with a source of water if they're going to imprison us. And then they brought it back and we went to bang on it again. It was fucking awesome. We occupied the jail. I mean, I missed out on most of S17, which sucks. You didn't miss anything. No, no. Right. It, it was a great experience. They, they arrested all the top organizers. The I reason, saw them go after people, yeah. The reason why they're standing around, it's not because they're afraid of us being violent. It's not because they're afraid of violence happening us. They're trying to see who the organizers are. They're trying to see who's strong and who's weak, who the leaders are, so they know who to target whenever, you know, we, we start marching. Okay. We could have broke through the barriers. We, we, we could have occupied Wall Street in a big way, but they had barricades everywhere. But they were taking out the organizers all the place. Everybody I was locked up with was like the top guys in the movement, you know. What do you do? What, um, 
Is there a way for people on, on my live stream if they wanted to check out what you were doing, your activities, I uh, have organizing? No clue. You I don't have, have no any URLs? I mean, I'm, I'm living on the streets. I lost my phone and my charger. Uh, Two hours a day, we go to Charlotte's, which is funded by Trinity. Okay, well, like if somebody wanted to make a donation to your uh, activities, is there a way to do that? Um, you don't have anything you know, set you up? Know, what, 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 what I would rather see is it's just, you know, people come down to Trinity and they see people on the street struggling for the cause. Just give them some food. Give them some money. Give them some cigarettes. Give them a beer. Okay. Give them some, you know, but do not invest money in the General Assembly. Right. They will squander it on themselves. And it always be masked as something good. It's just like Obamacare. It's like, oh, it's so wonderful. We have socialized health care now. No, we don't. You're being forced to buy a private product. You're being forced to buy insurance, and 50 million people still aren't covered. You know, they, what we need to do is we need to end the wars and, and take that money and invest it in our education and health care. If I break my arm, I shouldn't have to pay for it. What do we pay taxes for? Why? So 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 we can we can uh, start wars with innocent people to have our children dying, so so we can build prisons to put us in. But yeah, I'd happily accept a contribution from okay. anybody. And you know, it's like and you know, I remember when I was in Occupy Little Rock, Bill Clinton Library. I read uh, My Life by Bill Clinton. When's the last time you had something to eat? In, any any just now, okay. like an apple. All right. But but Bill, Bill Clinton, uh, he, he, it was the Clinton Library, and they charged over ten dollars a person to get in. Anybody that that knew Bill Clinton, and which I've met him before, and has read the first thirty pages of my life, would know he would never stand for that. And uh, they have a fountain that has all these coins in it, and I'm looking at all these quarters <laughs> and dimes. And then I will walk up to him, and uh, I basically let him know there's no law against picking up money somebody else threw away. And if people have so much money that they're just gonna throw it away for good luck, then it's something's gotta give well, it. Well, that's your good luck. Yeah, yeah exactly. Good. And I said, you don't have a sign posted, so I'm gonna take this money and I'm gonna spend it on getting poor people drunk. Because rich people drink to escape their problems. Homeless people have much bigger problems than rich people do. And I got $50 out of the fountain in quarters and dimes. And yeah, I drank some of it too. It's but okay. I went around waking up homeless people and being like, hey bro, wake up. I got a 40 for you. All right, so and you should see the, the, the look in their eyes when I did that. It, it was beautiful. It, it, it almost, it's about to make me cry just thinking about it. When were you in Little Rock? Um, I was in Occupy Little Rock three times. They were completely co-opted by the government. I, I the Democratic there. Party was trying to co-opt Occupy there the same way that the Republican Party co-opted right. the people. You know, it was all about getting the Democrats back in office and getting Obama reelected. And to me, what the movement is about, you know, like when they tried to pull this crap here, you know, trying to call them to a movement here, what I was saying is, uh, one, fuck Obama. Two, fuck Obama. Three, Obama is a fucking traitor. This isn't a political movement. This is a global human rights movement. And my vision of this movement, me personally, I'm just speaking as an individual. There are no more women's rights. There are no more gay rights. There are no more civil rights. There's only human rights. Gays should be able to adopt children and serve openly in the military, not because they're gay, but because they're human beings and they're entitled to the same rights that every other human being is. And, and it's like Henry David Thoreau said, for every thousand men chopping at the branches of injustice, there's only one chopping at the root. And as long as we're screaming for our rights as individuals, we're never going to get there. We need to change the language. We need to have it shift from, from you know, the, the rights I just mentioned to, to human rights. Because the women's rights, the civil rights, the gay rights, it's balkanizing. It's dividing conquer. It gets us to focus on the things that divide us rather than things that you know. Yeah, it keeps us from focusing on anything that will create real change. Exactly. I get that. Get that. You know, honestly, I think Obama has a knife in his back. Even if he wanted to create real change, he's not allowed. Absolutely. I wondered for a while, like, is this the same guy that I, I saw run for president? And I wondered if he was intimidating. It's like, remember the Bill Hicks joke where... His family will die. It, it, yeah, he's exactly. in that place. Yeah, but it's like Bill Hicks said. Yeah. You know, anytime a guy runs for office, he thinks what happens is, is they show him a video of Kennedy being assassinated from an ang angle he hadn't seen before. <laughs> And he goes, any questions? And then the president goes, just as my agenda is. You know, and John F. Kennedy was our last real president. He said a week before he was assassinated, he said, there is a plot within this nation 
to enslave every man woman and child and before i leave this high and noble office i seek to expose it and we don't want to wind up like kennedy do you but here's the thing i know for a fact obama was a stankless sosa because he was part of bilderberg part of the bilderberg group before he even ran so it's not like he was a good guy they had a gun to his head he was already right. with it i'm just thinking oh focusing it all on the president's a waste of time the president's simply a poster boy we have to focus paid on work. the people we got to change the, the system we got to change the system yeah. we got to shift from being a plutocratic oligarchy to a direct democracy we need to return the sovereignty to the countries new york should be its own country colorado should be its own country California should be its own country, yeah. ruled by your That's own people what, through direct democracy. It's kind of what a state is, it's yeah. its own country. Exactly. I mean, you look around the rest of the world, it's Paris, right. France, London, England, Little Rock, Arkansas, Denver, Colorado, but have open borders. Because those borders don't just keep other people out, they keep us in. Exactly. It's like we're in a prison exactly. without walls. Bad. I agree. It's horrible. Well, hey guys, thank you. Hey guys, nice talking, man, what's your Revolution. name again? Revolution. Revolution. Revolution? Yeah. The B? <laughs> no, it's an R. No, no. R E B or R B? R E B. Okay, revolution. revolution. Okay. Like what we need here. You know, like John Lennon? You say you want a revolution. All right. Well, you know. Okay, I got you now. You if, you ever have a, if you ever have information that might be important for me to have, here is my info. Absolutely. Cool. Right. Twitter, Tumblr. Uh, do you have a Facebook? Um, yeah, you can put in my email on Facebook. Oh, and your email is listed the on email. Yeah. Awesome. I'll do that. I'll add you. Hey, guys, thanks for taking time to talk to me. No problem. Hey, dude, this occupation isn't leaving. And it's going to take a little longer than I thought. At first, I thought 2012 wasn't the end of the world. It was the end of the year world, the beginning of ours. But it's going to take a little longer than I thought. It may take as long as two or three years, but it's going to happen. Agreed. Hell Occupy yeah. the world. Power to the people. Yeah, absolutely. God bless you. Brother. All right, take All care, right. man. Thanks a lot, Revolution, for providing us with a little sound bite there. It was great. Yeah. I'm, I'm finished with my coffee. He's a, he's a warrior. And yeah, we'll go, uh, when you're, we'll give it a couple more minutes. We'll take a little stroll around the park. All right. I actually want to sit on the benches down there and make a physical. I have not yet, I've yet to, like, enter the park here since I've been here in New York. Really? No, didn't do it the other day. Uh, just because I didn't want to go through all the hassle. I was tired. It's and kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah. 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 And there was cops everywhere. and I just wasn't up for it. I don't like being around cops like this. I don't care. I took no, I don't care. Sick. Especially we know that the New York Police Department... Did I lose my lighter? Well, I don't... New York Police Department is actually not the enemy. No, they're not. They're and, my friends, the New York Police Department. And you I shouldn't, declare that. And we shouldn't try to be uh, overly hostile towards the police department. Uh, a lot of them don't have a choice. They have families to support, and you know they just can't quit their job and quit the police department. You know, it's, you know it's. And then go and then, and then become go, homeless. Yeah, right. <laughs> then they're going to become homeless, and I did drop my lighter somewhere. God damn it. Oh. I got a lighter. Uh oh, I got an extra one too. I just, okay. I found it. Yeah, we will. I'll go grab it or whatever needs to We will. We got all these food carts around here. That's what I was thinking. They all smell so good. Yeah, they got falafels and all kinds of good shit. Yeah, yeah. Alright. I love New York. I love all the street vendors here. Right? You can actually eat on street carts in New York and uh, eat quite well here in New York for really cheap. And uh, not get food poisoning. Right. <laughs> Yeah, the street vendors are probably safer than the restaurant. Yeah. They have to. They're mobile. How you doing? Uh, who knows? Ah, that was a good fart. That one lifted me off the top of my chair. By the way, this is not a family stream, so... Uh, <laughs> we're going to try and see if we provide you a little more uh, more people to talk to. I don't really see a whole lot of occupiers here at the moment. There's supposed to be a GA. That's what I came down here for, to check it out. Um, it says so on the website, and it looked like it had been updated... Uh, so that's why one of the reasons I came down here. If there is no GA down here, uh, we'll probably just go by Wall Street. I know we can go by Trinity Plaza. And so if you want to look that up. It's right there. Yeah, it's like right yeah. around the corner from right here. There. Yeah, it's yeah, just we'll, right across the street over that way. Okay. I think. We'll take a walk over to Trinity Plaza and see if there's any occupiers down there. Uh, it's time to occupy. Let's check out the... Uh, 
know, our video is a little wavy while I'm trying to keep everything uh, still. Uh, thank you for uh, California Dazed and Socrates uh, live at Zuccotti Park now. Thank you. Uh, OBS 99 uh, will be around for the meditation circle. Um, I'm going to try to stick around here until at least 8 o'clock. So, uh, yes, uh, there is a meditation circle. I will be live streaming that. So thanks a lot for logging in, and I uh, appreciate it. And I'll never hesitate to ask me any questions or anything you need to know. Just uh, log on to the social stream, and uh, I'll be happy to chat. Yesterday was Rosh Hashanah. Uh, it was kind of interesting. Uh, I guess we don't have a lot of Jewish folks living in San Francisco. But it was kind of cool last night in Brooklyn that when the sun started going down, all the uh, everybody was out, all the men were out on the street with their ram's horns. And they were blowing their ram's horns when the sun was going down. No kidding. Yeah, it was really cool. Right. right you hear the woo, right? Yeah. It went on for like a good five minutes. So, yes, Happy New Year to all my Jewish friends out there. Uh, happy Rosh Hashanah. And I uh, hope you had a, hope this year that's coming is as is, is, uh, happy and hope everybody stays healthy. We're down here at Zuccotti Park, One Liberty Plaza, uh, live streaming in the streets from the lower Manhattan. This is the epicenter of the Occupy Wall Street movement, or it was at one time. We're going to go around to Trinity Plaza in a few minutes, so uh, do stay tuned and stay online for that. Let your friends know. Uh, my uh, URL is U-S-T-R-E dot A-M forward slash capital N little H little u capital d exactly like i spoke it and that's the url for anybody who wants to check out this live stream The park is open to the public uh, nowadays, so people do come down here. It's not like in San Francisco when they close down uh, Justin Herman Plaza on that one side and then they reopen it and there's nobody down there. Uh, this park is really being, it's actively used uh, by the general public. So, and uh, being New York, there's always lots and lots of people out on the street, especially in a wonderful evening like it is this evening. Just absolutely perfect, balmy weather. Not too hot, not too cold. It's gorgeous. And we'll be moving in a few minutes here. We're going to go down to uh, the Trinity Plaza and we're going to see if we can get close to the Wall Street, which I'm pretty sure they have fenced off and whatnot because they're afraid of us occupiers. And they should be. Good to know that most of the people were released out of custody that were arrested uh, on Monday. And I was actually hoping to get a first hand report of if somebody had been arrested, so we did that. Uh, Battery Park is about four blocks in that direction. We can be down at the water. We're right, almost at the very tip of Manhattan at the very end, in case you were wondering where we were located from. Try to keep the camera still here. Uh, I just had a cup of coffee, so I'm somewhat a little shaky. And uh, your, uh, your dude, Freeman Sullivan, is healthy and happy. I'm getting better and better. I'll be out of this chair pretty soon. So uh, then I'll be able to do even more live streaming when I get a little healthier. Oh, no problem, OBS 99. Anything you ask, I'm out here to serve you and uh, the viewers and everything. Because I know everybody can't make it down to New York. But if you do uh, know of a group uh, that's locally within your area and your city, uh, don't hesitate to find the group Occupy. And uh, they can sure use your help and uh, your wisdom and your expertise in something, I'm sure, because everybody has a talent that they contribute, can contribute to uh, Occupy. And uh, we're not about money. We don't need uh, donations. Personally, I don't ask for any donations for doing my live stream. 
uh, because uh, the universe provides um, and I live in a synchronicity of being in the here and now and I find if I stay in the here and now well then the universe provides for my activities yeah yeah it's kind of clean down here um, you know I'm of the same opinion that that you know uh, uh, having an occupation and, and, and your public image is very important uh, personally, I don't really give a shit what people think about me, but, well, I kind of do. I always stay clean and stuff. But yet, people have to realize that they are on public display 24-7, and when you go around and you're not clean and everything, well, then you're not going to be able to spread the message as easily as you would if you were clean. Uh, but that was a big issue back in the 60s when I was coming up as a child, is that those damn dirty hippies, and, uh, and it's kind of similar to what they say about occupiers today. So, uh, if you're an occupier... Just kidding. Uh, check your pits and see if they smell. And if they do, go get a shower. <laughs> but we love all our occupiers, smelly or not. As you can see, they got a big tower over here. Uh, oh yeah, okay, I could give you a little personal recap. Uh, on Saturday, there was a... Where was that at? Oh yeah, that was at Washington Square Park. Uh, there was a... Now, that big convergence at Washington Square Park, about 800 people showed up there. There was lots of tables, uh, lots of discussions, lots of people that were out there conversing. There was uh, lots of street theater. There was marches that went down Broadway, where I'm at right now, uh, where many, many people, I guess 32 people were arrested on Saturday for marching down this very street right here, which is Broadway. I don't see any street signs I can point you to. But yeah, oh, there we go, Broadway. Right across the street, right above that police car is the sign. Uh, so 32 people were arrested coming down Broadway here. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like, kind of. Hello. And, uh, okay, here's Broadway. And uh, you can see I'm here. Oh, it's okay, no problem. And then uh, Saturday there was a... Uh, a concert. I uh, being disabled and trying to get around. My energy levels are not always what they should be, so I wasn't able to make it to the uh, music. Uh, Michelle Shocked and Jello Biafra and a bunch of other well-known artists were playing at the, uh, and that was at uh, Poly Square, which is if you've ever watched Law and Order, the courthouse that they have in Law and Order. Well, right across the street is Poly Square, and. Uh, and that's where the, the uh, show was at. There was lots of tables. Um, and you can always check my live streams. Uh, they are posted up there. And uh, if you want to watch the live streams from previous days, um, I archive all my videos on YouTube as well. And uh, my YouTube uh, URL, just, uh, just do a search for Freeman Sullivan, and you'll be able to find my YouTube postings. So if you want to see what happened in the last couple of days, uh, you can always go to that. Uh, let's see now. Then there was a bunch of bands that played. Uh, we hung out at Foley Square for quite a while. There was a drum circle, whatnot. And then I gathered up a bunch of people in a cab, and we proceeded to go to Nine Bleecker Street for Occupy the Stage, which is also up on uh, I live streamed that, and you can check that out as well. It's a wonderful, wonderful stage production, all done by amateurs, amateur uh, uh, actors and actresses. Um, who were at Occupy DC in Washington, and uh, this was uh, the play was based upon the experiences of occupiers in Washington DC down at K Street, and it was quite quite an interesting play. I don't know if they're going to be taking it on tour on the road, but it was at the Yippie Cafe. Um, and if you're in New York and in Manhattan, I do just, uh, recommend that you stop by Nine Bleecker Street. Uh, it's near the Bowery, and uh, it's a historic place, which was home to. Such noted radicals as Abby Hoffman, Jerry Rubin, Dana Beal, who still has something, he's still associated with it. And, uh, they have a nice cafe and come there and get a little taste of radical history here in New York. And uh, uh, it's a good place to go to if you want to connect up with other local radicals in uh, New York City and you want to find out what's going on. So I'm back here, I'm about ready to. Uh, 
poke a stick into my escort Trinity. I mean, uh, Tiffany, excuse me, Trinity. You can call me Trinity. Right. Yeah, Trinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was letting you know they got the Trinity, Trinity signs Trinity around Church. here. Trinity Church. Yeah. God. Yeah. And Trinity was the female lead character in, in The Matrix. In the Matrix yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was hot. <laughs> and she broke her leg in the second movie. I don't know if you knew that or really? not. Really? No. Making the picture, yeah. On when they were on the motorcycles. Mm, you know, really? they, yeah, they, they, um, that freeway that they were on was going to be demolished. Uh -huh. Right to make for a new freeway, and uh, so that's they filmed everything right in Oakland, right at that, right at that area, right in the thing. Right, so. okay. Just a little bit of information. One of my favorite movies oh, of all time was the Matrix trilogy. Did you hear about uh, the script that they had to keep hiding it in vaults because people were tracking, were spying and, and chasing them to steal the script, and huh. it actually got stolen once. But uh, they had a, yeah, they had like guys after them. They didn't want that movie to go through. You know, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. You know, the plot was a little fantastical, but uh, by and large, it was a movie about uh, allegory of society, modern society. So, um, people think everything's okay, but they don't really realize it's like the 1%. You know, you think you're going to be okay, but uh, you're not really okay. You're living in some kind of, like, alternate reality, which doesn't exist. So, anyway... We're happy that all our viewers are here. Thank you for your support. Hello to Give Peace a Chance 12. I'm um, happy that you're here. Um, I'm, I love all my new viewers. Um, do follow me on Ustream. And if you click, there's like a tab that's underneath the video um, that says follow. And if you click that, well then whenever I go online to uh, do live streaming, it will send you an email. And, uh, and that way you can be notified when I'm streaming and keep up with the latest streams. So how are you doing with that tea and everything? And then um, finish your tea, I guess, and then we'll go walk around a little bit. Oh, I'm good. Okay, you dusted. Oh, we'll take that and throw it out if you don't mind. And then we'll get moving. Okay. Thank you. I mean, this being New York, we could just leave it sit here, but I don't do we're not that. like that. Yeah, we're not like that. We believe in picking up our garbage. I, I pick up my mess, I'm yeah. picking up, and we are picking up everybody else's that, mess as well. There's that thing. I just got it from the guy because he gets paid. Good. There's a garbage can right by that guy in the blue shirt. That's my lovely friend and escort, Tiffany. Well, I met here in New York. She's a real fine lady and very much an activist. And she's she's traveled around the country to different occupies, and and she's here in New York City. And I think I'm going to ask what we have our, Tiffany was going to come down with me to, to Washington in the next couple of days. Shall we? So, uh, you ready to move? I'm ready. So, what I was thinking about, what we could do is we can do, uh, like, we can go all the way around the park, mm -hmm. and then we'll end up back up here, and then we can get some food. Okay. You know. There you go. A lot of curious people, they want to know what I'm doing with my live stream here. Yeah, what is, what is he streaming? Yeah. What's about to happen? Yeah. Yes. So, just let me know when you're situated. And I'm ready. Alrighty. So, we're moving, folks. Do I have Twitter? Yes, I do. At Freeman Sullivan. That's my Twitter handle. Uh, there, give Peace a Chance 12. Very minimal police presence down here. Uh, because there's nobody setting up tents or anything and you know we've got a few cars but and there's one command vehicle behind us but uh, the uh, police are not interested in you know they're not interested and it looks like there's a few people gathered down here but they don't look like occupiers but we're gonna go around we're gonna go uh, to Trinity Church after we make our little round here and uh, so we can see what's going on there right around Wall Street. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, more work when going down the hill. Yeah. Back. Yeah, well, you don't have to. You can let go. I got breaks, though, you see. All these great people down here are looking for occupiers. Let's see if we can see any. And if not, we'll just roll around and we'll go up to Trinity Plaza because I understand there are a few occupiers that are hanging out there. And, uh, and we'll just go up there and see what's going on in lovely New York City. One of the greatest cities in the world. And I guess we can cut up here. Let's cut up here. I know it's kind of a hill, so when you get tired, just let me know and we'll stop. 
How you doing there, officer? Thank you. I always try to be friendly to the New York police. Um, you know, I actually got on my way to be nice, uh, even because that's what you have to do when you're an organizer and an activist. Rather than operating from hate and saying, fuck the police, fuck the police, um, try to be nice and recognize they are human beings. And uh, they really don't want to be out here either, most of them. Um, and the great majority of police officers are comp compassionate individuals. So uh, I, I feel like you need to take a break for a second because I. Well, now actually you're doing pretty good because I don't hear you. Yeah, you're not huffing and puffing. Right? When I hear you huff and puff, uh, that's when I know you're ready to take a take a breather. I wonder if these people here are occupiers with the bike and everything. Let's just hang out here for just a sec. Oh, yeah, food. Are you hungry? Okay. All right. I'm gonna have a. Uh, here, a gyro. A lamb if they got it. I'm hoping they got some lamb. All right, we're good. Kill the mundo. I'm going to give you some money here and you can order it up for us. And if they don't have a lamb, then give me a cheeseburger. And here's my wallet. Just pull out some money. Everybody's favorite word. Here's my wallet. Pull out some money. Alright, right. I'm good. I can handle this. Okay. You don't have to. I'm fine. Okay. We're here live from Zuccotti Park here in Lower Manhattan. Glad you're watching. Lots of people down here in Zuccotti Park. No occupiers, unfortunately. I was hoping to run into some occupiers. Maybe I'll roll over here and ask these guys and see if they are a part of Occupy. Excuse me. Are you guys with Occupy? Are you with Occupy? Are you guys with Occupy? Okay. How are you doing? You want to talk a few seconds? I got a lot of viewers out here. Uh, my name's Clark. And I'm a visitor from San Francisco. Nice to meet you. And I'm part of Occupy San Francisco, and Occup we have our own organizations back there. Nice. So did you guys participate in Monday's actions? I was here for them, yeah. Okay, what's your name? Kara. Kara? Kara. Yeah. Hi, Kara. Um, so uh, what happened? Uh, what was your, what's your personal experiences that you had on that day? Um, it's really great to see everybody come down here. Um, festive atmosphere. Um, but there was a lot of unnecessary police brutality, as there usually is when anyone comes out and tries to um, stand up for their rights or express their freedom. <laughs> um, so that was that sort of put a damper on that day, for me at least. Um, were you arrested? No, I avoided that. Okay. Barely. <laughs> were you, are you a part of you guys? Do you, this looks like kind of an affinity group of some sort. I Am I right? I think we're all just friends. Pardon? We're all just friends, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the way affinity groups are. Right, because um, when I was out, I was hanging with my people that were here. Yeah. So you guys kind of hung. That's right, that's great. Yeah. And you are you live in New York City? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Excuse me, uh, folks, uh, my camera's shaking around a little bit. Um, I uh, live stream from uh, all over. Um, I'm an organizer myself. Yeah. And I'm actually thinking about moving here to New York because you guys don't have a lot of elders. Yeah. Right. There's, there's some. We do. There's some, there's yeah. Few. Yeah, we but have I, like the Granny Brigade. We have a lot of elderly. We have like. And what's your name? Medics. I'm Messiah. Messiah? Messiah? Hi. I'm yeah. a vocalist. I've been down to my San Francisco before. Okay. Okay, we're a little ragged out there in San Francisco. But, a little ragged all over the country. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> um, we had a, a, a Monday, we had a, actually, uh, the stuff that we were doing in San Francisco was actually more, it was bigger than what was going on here. Imagine but that. we have a lot of see that's the thing that's why I wanted to come here is because I'm like I've been organizing for 41 years yeah. and uh, there's a lot of things I noticed a lot of uh, little things that could have been better and I know that if I lived here for a while that um, I would make it better and make it easier for people you know I have a lot of skills IT skills and cool. all that kind of stuff so Sounds like a good you know. to me. yeah I like it here in New York and also Washington uh, that's another reason I like it here on the East yeah. Coast 
I live, you know, living in San Francisco is great, but San Francisco is, uh, it's an island, right? And like the closest city, major, well, there's Sacramento, but Sacramento is really boring. Yeah. But uh, the closest major city is Los Angeles, which is 350 miles away. So it's very isolating. Yeah. Whereas out here in the, on the East Coast, you have like five, six cities, seven cities, like boom, 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 boom. So you can just get on the Chinatown bus yeah. and be the be in another city in about an hour, half yeah. an hour. And that's kind of what I like about being in, out here on the East Coast. Yeah, there's a lot of people here. A lot of things going on. Weather, well, the weather's been great since I've been here for the last yeah. week and a half. But uh, I know what it's like. I, I grew up in Baltimore, so. Yeah, you know. not always great. <laughs> no, no, but I wouldn't be coming here for the weather anyways. I'm coming here to, it's a lot of great organizing opportunities here in New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it shouldn't be that difficult. Oh, this is my friend Tiffany. Hi. All right. Hi. So we got some food here. Kara, please. We got some food. Okay, folks, we got a little oh, meal here. So I'm going to log off for a while and, and eat my meal. All right. Um, okay. Thanks for uh, watching here, but I'll be right back. So give me about 15 minutes and I'll be back and we're going to go down to Trinity Plaza and Wall Street and uh, talk again. So just be patient and I'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes.